This is Straden, the main thoroughfare through Old Town Dubrovnik. I have walked along here in the past, cheek to jowl, shoulder to shoulder, with other tourists that have disgorged from cruise lines or arrived on low-cost flights. Now Croatia has reopened after the long pandemic and already tourist numbers are building up, but nothing like what they used to be. And if you ask the locals and the tourists who are here, everyone says this is so much more pleasant. It's a delightful experience, a chance to properly enjoy the place. However, the businesses here, of course, were closed most of last year and lost huge amounts of money. And now, how do you balance the needs of the local economy and the tourism industry with the wish to recreate what this place was all about? That is the test. It is the challenge and the test for this man. He is Mato Frankovic. He is the mayor of Dubrovnik. He joins me now. Good to see you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Good to see you as well. Thank you for your invitation. Let's, we're going to deal with over-tourism in a second, but let's first of all talk about the reopening. You are uh, part of the national policy. You're welcoming tourists from other parts of the world. And it's going reasonably well as far as I can see. Is it too soon? It's not too soon. Dubrovnik is COVID-free. We have just five positive cases. Uh, we have 90, more than 90 percent tourist workers uh, vaccinated. More than 50 percent population is uh, vaccinated. And we are going in very good direction. So basically you're saying if you're vaccinated or you have a negative test or you've recently had COVID, you can come here. Yeah. Is that the gist of it? Absolutely, and you're welcome to come here, yes. So the digital green pass is how important for you? Very important. Uh, why? Because the tourists that are coming here, they know the rules. Just have the uh, digital passport and you're free to come and welcome to come. United Airlines starts flying non-stop from New York uh, at the beginning of next month. Yes. It'll be the second carrier. Delta Airlines is also uh, flying. Both airlines have got very good numbers at the moment. How significant is, is the U.S. going to be here? It's going to be definitely our uh, first market for the first months. Uh, definitely first reopening months, but of course, that we are hoping and praying that the British will come soon as well. Oh, because you need the British. But when the British come, so will over-tourism. Now, today, as we were talking on the programme, uh, the MSC Orchestra arrived and disgorged a couple of thousand people for all of four hours to have a look and take some pictures. This evening, uh, we had another cruise ship that just went round the harbour. Listen to what a sailor told me earlier in the week when we went out on the water about the future. The blessing that we can like really enjoy now, uh, our city, our privacy, that we can really appreciate what we have, like the old town, that, the, that we cherish each other, that we can spend some time with our family and everything. But again, it's a curse because like we are depending on it. We are like, most people in Dubrovnik are living on a, on a tourism. We just need to gather our minds together and see some other solution that it's not only depending on tourism. Mr. Mayor, how are you going to prevent the bad old days from returning? Let me just say one thing to you. December 6th, 1991, absolutely the same words were said by UNESCO observers when Dubrovnik was bombed, that we cannot give out opportunity of putting Dubrovnik in sustainable tourism. And we failed then. We will not fail again. This is our goal. Dubrovnik is going to be a manager of sustainable tourism. I, I, I hear the good words, but if you take, for example, the cruise ships, all right, you limit them to 2 and to 5,000, but you've got Airbnbs up the wazoo. You've got thousands of people waiting to come here. How do you restrict the numbers in a fair and equitable way? By planning, uh, we have all the tools. We implemented all the tools. From the over-tourism 2017, we came almost to sustainable tourism back in 2019 and in 2023 when the things will come better believe me right. we can bet dubrovnik is going to be a town with sustainable tourism town which has the only one main right. figure and that is citizen of dubrovnik 
Good to see you. We're both vaccinated. It's a pleasure to shake your hands, sir. I'll be back you. to see if you're right. See you in 2022.